Hey everybody, Rob Borgel with Rifle Speed. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at plungers and how their length affects our gas. So as we can imagine, we've got the gas port coming out the top of our barrel, going into the gas block and then into the gas tube. The more we choke off that gas, the more reliability and accuracy we're going to get out of our weapon. So finding that right gas setting and setting our gas block in settings one through 12 to ideally fit our weapon and the type of ammunition we use. Plunger size defines the range of adjustment between settings number 1 and settings number 12. Some configurations need different range of adjustments than others. Each step in plunger size moves you two positions on the control knob. If you achieve minimum bolt hold open at setting 5 with one plunger, you can drop down two plunger sizes to achieve the same performance at setting 1. This simplifies the process of plunger selection and prevents you from having to try multiple sizes in order to get the right one. So first, let's talk about adding that suppressor. If you're a suppressor type guy, you're going to increase your gas pressure substantially. So we want to tune our weapon first for that suppressor. So in setting one, we want reliable bolt hold open on our last round. And this way, if it gets really cold out, or our weapon gets really dirty, we can move up to setting two or three to regain that reliability. Then when we remove our suppressor, we want to be able to gas back up to cycle reliably without that additional back pressure. This is where we should find ourselves around setting 9 or setting 10. This still leaves us the opportunity to, to gas back up in case we have that cold weather or that lightly charged ammunition because we switched from 5.56 and then into 2.23. So how that works is adjusting out your plunger. To remove your plunger, what you're going to do is back your gas setting all the way out, and that's going from one all the way to 12. And you'll see as we elongate, we're pulling the plunger out of the way of the gas port. And now that the plunger is out of the way of the gas port, it allows max gas to cycle through the weapon. If you need more gas than setting 12, then what you'll need to do is remove the collar and pull the plunger and what holds the plunger in place out. Now you can rotate out to a shorter plunger, thus allowing more gas. The shorter the plunger is, the more gas you're pushing through that system. The included plunger is designed to work with most weapon setups, but you'll need to try this on your own firearm. Each step in plunger size moves you two positions on the control knob. Once you have the correct one reinstalled, we're going to put the collar back on. And as we tighten it back down, we'll hear the clicks and get to that stop point push the collar down, and we back into our settings 1 through 12 again. This is how we change out and find the correct plunger of the 10 options to make optimal accuracy, reliability out of your AR-15. For the full product lineup of all the rifle speed products, to include the gas blocks, gas tubes, and the adjustable plungers, check out riflespeed.com.